203, where Georgia is well represented. And they hold the NCAA and SEC marks at Georgia as well. Lane four, Shannon Freeland for the Dogs, the senior. What an incredible year she had last year. 2013 was a year to remember. Yes, she was fourth at the SECs, fourth at the NCAAs, but she went on to the World Championships, won three gold medals there on relays. Next to her in lane five is the defending champ, Lindsey Gendron. She had a great year last year as well, you know, defending champ. She has a lot to prove here going out as a senior. She would love to win this. Here's the start list. We mentioned the Georgia influence. Three swimmers in lanes three, four, and six. Keep an eye on Lopez in lane two toward the bottom of your screen. From A&M, she'll be a big factor as well. She's been 143. She comes in with the third fastest time in the country this year. She could be a little bit of a sleeper. She has a good one. Sinead Russell up there in lane seven for the Gators is also very solid. She had a great split for the Gators on their 800 free relay. You know, it all boils down to that was a long time ago, it seems like, the 800 free relay. It's a, this is a fresh start for all these swimmers in the race, but I think Shannon Trey just has the ability to put it all together. She's got the great early speed, yet she's got a great back half as well. And I don't think anybody else has that combination in this field. 22 years old, long 6-2 frame. She has the lead in lane four, as advertised. Right behind her is Jedrick. Jedrick right there above, as you said, with that orange cap, kind of hanging in there. Mattern from Georgia, the teammate of Freelance. Knows, boy, they know each other, don't you think? Mattern, a junior, they swim against each other every single day. And Mattern right there has moved up against that lane line and kind of trying to draft a little bit off of Freeland, but Freeland right there in the middle of the pool. Just, she just has no weaknesses at all in her race, and she really knows how to put together a last 50. She was very solid in the 500. She was second in the 500 here early in the competition, so you know she's not going to fade at all. And right now, Georgia getting a push from Matter going for second place. The Bulldogs have three of the top four swimmers in this one right now. Boy, what a great way to end this session for the Bulldogs. To be able to go three out of four here would be huge. Freeland's going to win, no doubt about it. Shannon Freeland, the senior for Georgia, pulling away. Body length lead on Gendron, and she wins the 200 free. Second place to Gendron, and Georgia takes places one, three, and four in this one. And I know that shock on her face because I know she's pointing toward the NCAAs, and I think she can hardly believe it. That is the fourth fastest time in history. And only in the SEC, her teammate, Megan Romano, who, by the way, has the fastest time in history, the American record holder, has been faster. So that's the second fastest in SEC history. Here's the turn. Slide edge here. You could see here at the halfway point, but just enough to kind of give her the confidence going into this last 100. Here's the 150. Just little by little, she built that lead, and then you knew she was going to have a, sp a, a spectacular last 50. And that's exactly what she did. She has the combination of great starts, great turns, great stroke. Everything's put together. And then confidence. Think about what she's done the last year. It's got to give you a lot of confidence. Cynthia with the victorious Bulldog. <laughs> Shannon. Rowdy thought that maybe you were surprised at your time when you looked up at the board, <laughs> were you? Yeah, I definitely was. That was definitely a lot faster than I was expecting. Well, he talks about what a complete swimmer you are. Why do you think the 200 free fits you so well? Um, I think I really, I like the shorter events, but I was, I've always been a distance swimmer, so it's hard for me to get up and race those, but I have some of the top speed from being a 100 freestyler. And, so in the back end speed from being a 500 freestyler. So it's really the perfect distance for me. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Shannon Vreeland with a complete effort, a strong finish as Georgia shows well. Vreeland with gender.